Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what is it that is manifesting for you all. Any messages or advice? Who or what is showing up around you? What you need to know. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually golden on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below. Okay. Sagittarius, what's coming in for you? Ooh. Mm, the star. You are being renewed of something that weighed really heavily on your shoulders. You're being freed of some burden here, okay? There's a situation that had restricted you. A person, place, thing. It kept you stuck. Some of you, maybe even you felt stuck. You felt kind of um, stuck in a situation that has been really hard, really hard to deal with, but you're being freed. There's this energy of you feeling like you're free, like you can live again, like you can do what you want. There's a weight lifted off of your shoulder. There's a new beginning on the other side now. There's new starts, new people, new experiences. Yeah, I'm hearing I'm free justice we got justice twice you have some sort of karmic justice showing up for you this month something is 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 being delivered in your favor things are going in your favor i do see you releasing something what is this that is being released okay interesting huh some of you are leaving a legacy you're leaving a legacy or you're leaving a situation that may have involved other people family that really had took away some of your your happiness or it's taken away your freedom i'm seeing you had taken on a lot of extra responsibility and there's been a lot of disagreements or tension and you're choosing to free yourself from this some of you are leaving behind uh, a cycle a generational cycle of burden that has been passed down you're ending the cycle. The cycle ends with you. There's now a new start. There's a new beginning. The others couldn't do it. You had to be the one to go through it. You had to be the one to do it because uh, ev the others couldn't is what I'm picking up. Okay, so some of you are even learning that you may have had weak boundaries with others or weak boundaries may have been the cause of of feeling burdened, of feeling overwhelmed, like you're doing too much or carrying other people's issues and problems on your shoulders. And the seven of wands reversed. Okay. You're now creating space. I see you feel like you need to like create some space here to for, for yourself to think about things. Some of you are now wanting to prioritize romance more. Wanting to prioritize love. Instead of um, focusing so much on career or work. Sagittarius. Yeah, it looks like you're ready to you're ready to take action 
after a time of rest, of meditation, of taking time alone to think about things, of uncertainty or fears, you're moving past the fears now. And you're, you're now putting a boundary here with people who have been abusing your generosity. So something has definitely been one-sided. And you're now realizing that if you don't put the boundaries first, others will. Because it's, it is true. It's like if you don't set your boundaries, others will. And then you're left here with all of these wands in your arms thinking, why do I, why is life so hard? <laughs> right? We've, I've been there. So no judgments. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. It's change. You're making change. You're no longer choosing to stay unhappy it, or staying in a situation that you're unhappy in, hoping that things will change. You're like, you're, you're finding the courage to make the change, to free yourself, to, to move on, move forward. Okay. Some of, some of you have been trying to work with people and it just wasn't going anywhere. And you're accepting what is. And doing things differently now. Hmm, there, is a, there is a new manifestation here. Something new. Something that's going to bring you a lot of peace. Peace of mind. Mental peace. Emotional peace. Justice. A fair outcome. Things are going to start to balance itself out now. There's a... A difficult cycle is at its end. I do see you also taking accountability for your own for your own actions. Tell me about this justice. You're making a decision to go after what it is that you want here. No longer holding yourself back. Because of of trying to make others happy, trying to please others. Some of you are no longer going to be people pleasers. You're doing what it is that you want to do. You're making a choice for yourself, a final choice here. You're putting a, a, a literally end to a generational cycle. Tell me about this justice. Okay, reconciliation and trust. Hmm, interesting. There, there may be a reconciliation with someone who you could potentially rebuild trust with. With honesty, with truth, only if you're both honest, justice, upright looks pretty fair. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you for the rest of the month. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus business owner or someone who's really um, good with money. Three of Cups, Judgment, Strength, The Sun, Knight of Swords. Okay. I see that this person feels like you two have a friendship with each other. Or you're somebody who they always have a really good time with. Three is the number of growth. So... This person feels like your connection is even growing. But they are seeing you as feeling temporarily down right now. Upset. Let's 
why the sun reversed. The tower, okay. Yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. They're seeing you as going through a lot right now, going through a major um, renovation in your life, a major shift, big changes, and you temporarily um, not being very happy about it. But they feel like you, but they feel like. You are still a place of, of happiness and joy for them. Or when you're together, you're always happy. You're always joyful. You always have a good time. And they want to celebrate with you. They want to support you. Tell me about judgment. I see this person... Okay, the world. I see this person wanting to... Still give this a chance. Their intentions is to give this a chance towards potentially a rebirth. Yeah, I see that this person feels like they no longer want to hold themselves back. Ten of Cups. They want to settle down with you. They want a future with you. They've they've held back before. Maybe from expressing their, their feelings to its entirety. What or what they really want here with you. They may not have expressed that fully. But they're no longer holding themselves back here from expressing or, or bringing you clarity on, on their intentions with you. Tell me about judgment. Temperance. Yeah, they want to make a compromise here. Heal things. Reconcile, see you again. They're coming to some epiphany moment here. Hmm. But you have a new beginning. Tell me about this new beginning. Reconciliation is coming out again. F finding. Someone may come with you in this new beginning. Or you may, in this new beginning, you may, fi you may come across someone who you, who you may have not spoken to or been in some sort of separation from. You know, like when I, if if something's meant to be, it's gonna be. Whatever is meant to be will be, but you're still choosing to make a final decision here and and release whatever is burdening you, anything and everything. Saying no, you're saying no to something here. You're like, no, this is too hard, this is too much, this is too stressful. Prioritizing your peace at all means. Or by all costs. Why this page of swords? Okay. You're being called to look at something for the reality. Clarity, maybe taking a step away to look at things more clearly. But with that said, I'm seeing the numbers 10, 7, 11. Those numbers could be synchronicities 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 7, 7, 7. I'm seeing the letters E, F, J, C, P, K. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.